wanted to spend a little bit of time and talk about um, how to install the new um, display link USB graphics driver 5.0 um, for Mac OS X and this is exclusively for the new Mojave um, the very first thing you want to do is you want to run the uninstaller uh, to uninstall uh, any of the older versions on on your machine now if you're um, installing this fresh on a fresh copy then you don't have to do that um, but if you do have like an older version like the beta versions on there go ahead and uninstall those first um, and then after you uninstall it it requires a reboot um, go ahead and reboot uh, and then the key that I found to making this actually work is to make sure that your uh, MPC touch is turned on. Um, if you don't have it turned on during the driver installation, then it will not function. Um, no matter what you do, you can try to power it down, disconnect the USB cable, it just won't work. Um, but if you have it powered on during the driver installation, then it, uh, it apparently communicates with the software during the installation and it installs it correctly so um, I just recovered from a reboot um, okay so now I'm gonna open up the MPC software and it works um, so my touchscreen on my controller is, is is working so it, as you can see, it's, it's responding to what I'm touching on the, the, the uh, actual screen of the touch. Okay, so now the other thing that, I, that may have some bearing too on operations of the MPC software, um, if you go to the system preferences and open up the security and privacy area, um, look under accessibility. I'm gonna go ahead and, and allow this. Okay, um, in here you need to make sure that the MPC is allowed, otherwise it will not allow the display to be pushed to it. Um, that, that's one thing I noticed. Um, I, I need to actually test my Duet too. Duet is like that um, a piece of software that allows you to be able to push the screen out to like my iPad. Um, it, it, I believe it was kind of dependent on the display link driver as well. And I'll have to test that later but that's one thing um, that you need to be aware of and then in the displays um, this feature right here that show mirroring options in the menu bar when available um, previously this is what was broken when we first got into this whole weird problem with the, um, um, with the MPC software and the MPC MPC touch so let me open that up again. I'm going to open up the software so that it pushes the, the display out to the device. <clears throat> so you can see what it looks like in here with it open. Okay, it looks like that time, well, it looks like it's going to be kind of iffy. Um, so when I opened up the software that time, it didn't push it out to the, to the display. So that is weird. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down my MP, MPC touch for a second and I'm power it back on. And okay, so apparently there are still some some weird things with the software. So um, as you can see, what I had to do was I powered the MPC touch down, um, and then uh, reopened the MPC software, and then boom, the display starts working again. Okay, so um, this was what was previously not working in the old version that kind of started us down this path to nowhere. Um, so if I click on arrangement my primary display um, is shown on the left and then the MPC touch is the one that's on the right um, now I don't really want to mirror the displays 
I just want the software to be able to push the screen out when it needs to. Um, but you have that option. And mirroring, what, what mirroring does is it takes the display of what's on the screen, the primary display, and it pushes it to the secondary display. So if you really want to have that happen, you can, but no thank you, not for me. Um, this shows the version 5.0 um, and build 31, and I did just install it today. And that's all I've got. Um, if you guys have questions or comments regarding um, anything that you've seen in this particular video, um, please leave comments in the comment section. Um, hopefully this will help those people who have been having just a whole heck of heck of a bunch of a trouble with getting this thing installed. It's not the easiest thing in the world. And I, I do want to mention one thing. Um, for those who are like reinstalling the MPC software, please note that that installer that's out on the Akai website, uh, don't install the display link driver for that one. Just install the MPC software. Once you have the MPC software installed, go ahead and go out to the display link website and here's the, the URL for it. So it is www.displaylink.com forward slash downloads forward slash Mac OS um, and download the driver for the display link or for the display here. Uh, don't use the one that's in that current 2.2.1 installer out on the Akai website because it contains a really old display link driver which will not work on Mojave. So again, um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section.